What's up everyone, Ronco Pop back here with another video, and today, continuing my Drawtober theme of drawing uh, horror movie killers, we are drawing Stephen King's It, Pennywise I think his name is. I never saw the original and I did not see the new one, but it is a very cool character design, especially the new one with the, with the red lines going from the lips up the eyes and everything like that, looks very menacing. This is a picture I, I picked up off the internet just to use as reference. And yeah, we're going to draw Pennywise, so let's get into it. Start up with a new layer here. I'm just using my regular Studio Pen brush that comes with the Procreate program. Just using a, a light blue color. And I'm gonna, I think I'm going to draw them off to the side over here. Sometimes I use the uh, uh, Procreate pencil, sometimes I use the pen. It doesn't really matter. Um, the pen has a little bit more of a bolder line. With the pencil, I have to press down a little bit harder to try to find my lines and get it to show up a little bit. So sometimes I like to use the pen, the pen just so I can see my lines a little bit better. Alright, so he's kind of looking up. Kind of keep the the head kind of facing down so I'll keep it a little bit drooping down here Let me erase some of this here and what I'm going to do is keep that kind of really rough and I'll go over this again a little bit more with my next rough layer underlying drawing but keep his body kind of pretty straight a little bit bigger than the head there his, his arm's just going to be hanging off to the side here. And with his other arm, he is going to be holding the balloon. I'm going to keep his arm out a little bit more because I don't want it to come up straight up the middle of his face there. But something like that looks pretty good. And he's got these puffy shirts, shirt sleeves on his clown costume. Yeah, this is a great design very very like I mean people are don't like clowns as it is right and just the you know the, the the menacing look on this clown just just adds to that flair of <laughs> people might not liking clowns so all right that looks pretty good so far I'm gonna come back in here again with this new underdrawing just so I can get a little bit better kind of just scribbling all over the place this is kind of how I try to find out how I want the drawing. If I have a motion going on, I'm trying to find out, you know, what the what I want the body to be doing, if he's turning, if he's looking, something like that. So what I'm gonna do is drop the opacity on this layer. Right about there. Okay. New layer on top of that. Change my brush color to red just so I can differentiate the lines. Still with the same pin. And now I'm gonna be a little bit more a little bit more uh, precise onto how I think I want this drawing to look. His, his uh, chin kind of almost comes down into this little point because of his cheeks and I don't know the cleft chin or whatnot. So I'm going to keep his head kind of going down almost at an angle there. Big forehead up top because he is looking down at you. Put his nose right here. Or I have my underlying drawings of where the nose and eyes would be. And then I'm have the eyes here. Kind of looking up at you. And there's going to be some type of evil grin. And then the, the redness of whatever this is on him. His red lips design that goes up to the eyes. Okay, so we got that there. Now with the hair, looks like the hair covers most of the ear. I'm go like that, keep that right there, and then in the middle of its head, he has just kind of like that Bruce Willis, uh, what is that called, fading hairline. But he has a little spot up top, so I'll keep that there. And then on the side here, same thing with this, cover some of the ear with the hair, put the hair at the bottom, and then just kind of flare it out here and then come back in a little bit there same thing on the other side flare it out there come up top alright I'm going to erase the middle here just a little bit so we can see the hair a little bit easier 
looks pretty good. I think it needs a little bit more menacing eyes. So we're going to do that. Mm -hmm. So we got the eyes with the brow coming down so it gives him that scowl. But I don't want him looking straight ahead. I want to kind of him looking up top. So you keep the pupils of the eye closer to the top and not touching the bottom of the eye. So that gives him kind of like he's looking at you at an angle. Okay, so now we've got the bottom here. Maybe some of this chin to make it a little bit better. A little bit more of an angle there. There we go. Now you can't really see his neck, so I'm going to make sure I cover this up and have the little, what are these called, frills, little frills on his costume there coming out. And I think I am going to make this bigger, so I'll just adjust the size in a minute when I'm done with this underdrawing. So we've got the frills there, then we've got the little puffiness of his shirt. One more, same thing on this side, only it's a little bit off because he has his arm out. And for the arm, make sure you keep it locked into place there. And he's going to be, he looks like he's holding it kind of with two fingers. So what I'm going to do is come down here, kind of sketch this out, have the thumb up top, one finger out. That way, you can have your thumb holding in the background. And you got two fingers here, kind of bleeding together because of the size of the pen, but that'll work. And then the string, and then the bottom part here is where his other fingers are going to be. So make sure I'll keep this laid out here so it doesn't get lost in the shuffle there. Okay, and it looks like he has these little ruffles around his sleeves too so I'm gonna do a little bit like that kind of hanging off that looks good and then his other arm here is just coming straight down and we have his little some more tassels or whatever these are around not tassels uh, ruffles I don't even know what those are called around the waist looks like he has a few of them maybe they lead down to his legs but I don't think I'm going down that far because I am going to enlarge this we have the little red fuzz balls as buttons or whatnot. And then his other hand is going to be kind of covered because of the tassels there too. That looks pretty good. So what I'm going to do is enlarge this by hitting the arrow button there. I'm going to make him pretty, pretty good size. I want the balloon up top here. And I'm going to keep him off to the side just to... Oh, should I put him in the middle? Just a little bit. Just off to the side, just like that. That works. Looks pretty good. So I'm going to get rid of my light blue underdrawing. I'm going to get rid of my reference for right now. Hit that button. And then I'm going to put a new layer on top. Go to my red lines underdrawing. So I'm going to drop the opacity on those and make those pretty light. Looks good. Now um, I'm still on my new layer. Good. So I got my black ink. And for my pen, I am still using my Studio Brush pen, but I've just adjusted the streamline. If you don't know how to adjust the streamline, you have these little feather thingies with the Procreate. I call them feathers, the Procreate logo. Just hit that little there, and you can get the streamline up high or down low. The streamline just adjusts how straight uh, your lines will be when you're drawing. If it's really low, It'll, it'll, it won't have, it won't make the adjustment on your, on your, um, your line. But if it's really high, see how that lag, the lag is there because it makes the adjustment and makes your line a little bit straighter. With this brush, I have a few of them that are all the same, but I've just adjusted the streamline so I don't have to keep doing this on different ones. I keep it at 80. All right, and now we're going to get in here. I'm going to put my brush size, let's see, I'm at 20 right now. Let's see if that's pretty good. Start with the nose here. All right. Now with the eyes, I'm going to do the brows first, just so 
I keep him really looking, having that menacing scowl look. There we go. And then that eye looks a little bit bigger than the other one. Looks a little bit better. All right. And then for the pupils, like I said, you keep it kind of high up. So that way it looks like he is looking up at you. Instead of if that pupil was down here, he'd be looking straight across. But this way he kind of has his head at an angle. All right. So now start with this hair here. Do the same thing over here. Just kind of inside there. Now we got the big old forehead. Just straight in like that. And I overdrew a little bit so that way I can just erase that part. And this part is his other part of his hair. really following my uh, underdrawing exactly precise just because I'm giving it a little bit more more wave to what it might be looking like that's too much and now go back in here just erase these little parts right here okay now We'll finish off the rest of his head here, drawing the ears. And then bring his chin down almost kind of in a point like. don't really like the way that looks so what I'm going to try to do is do one solid motion and because I do have that streamline up it should help a little bit better yeah I like that better all right and finish off with his hair that kind of goes all crazy Yeah, I did not see the movie It, either the new ones or the old ones. I don't know, I just never got into this character. I mean, I, would, I didn't get into most of these horror characters as I explained in my other Drawtober videos. But especially with this one, not that it was particularly scary, it just didn't really interest me all that much. So draw these ruffle colored here. And now I'm putting these little lines just like this, just to give it a little bit more dimension. Give it a little bit of a wave, like if there's folds in the material, kind of. Now we'll draw with these sleeves here. Oops. Same thing with this one, but since it's closer to the body, I'm going to keep it a little bit more tighter there. All right. Now for his arm here, just go sh just very small because there is this ruffle here that comes down. Again, put those little lines, kind of helps, gives a little bit more flair, a little bit more movement. <clears throat> All right, I'm gonna put some more. That looks a little bit better. And now for his mouth, I'm going to kind of do it like a small mouth, not a big wide grin. Something like that. What I'm going to do is put teeth here. 
color the bottom in here like if his mouth is open but I'm going to make it look like it's a wider grin because of this red uh, design that's on his face but I think I'm going to save that for when I do the colors all right let's do the hand here like a little thumb and his fingers And the bottom of his hand kind of curving around like this just with the other two fingers underneath and then we got his balloon which I did not do an underdrawing for so I'm gonna go back to that layer I'm gonna do a rough outline of where I want the balloon I'm going to select this just to move it over to the side a little bit. I'm going to want it right about there. Keep with the underdrawing and it's going to be like that. So it's going to be off, off the page a little bit. I'm going to erase some of these lines here just so I can see where the point of the balloon comes down. There we go. It looks pretty good there. Something like that. All right, so we'll go back to my inking layer. Haven't changed any of the colors, any of the pins, and we'll just draw this little string right up there. Too much, too close to the line of his head there, so I'm gonna move it just a little bit. That looks a little bit better. And down here, string comes down. Now for the balloon, what I'm going to do is kind of do a wide balloon, hold my pen down to the, whoops, let's see if it holds it, I don't know if it'll hold it at that spot, too much. So it will be either an oval or like a triangle, which I don't want, so I'll just go make the little tail of the balloon first. And then wide out like that, wide out like that. That'll work. All right, let's finish up the drawing of his rest of his costume here. I never really was particularly, you know, impressed with clowns either. I didn't really understand people's um, fear of them, I guess. Didn't make any sen much sense to me. You know what? People are afraid of all kinds of things, I guess. All right. And let's see. I'll keep this like this. Just so you can have a little opening. If I, if I didn't put this here, it looked like the arm was like... I don't know. I'll leave it there. Maybe I'll move this around here. Make his body just a little bit wider. Because it just looks a little off there. You probably got like that because I didn't totally follow where my lines were before on my underdrawing. All right. So now the last part is these little fuzzy red buttons. And again, I'm not totally following everything on my underdrawing, but that's okay last one down here all right that looks pretty good there so now I'm gonna take away my red underdrawing and I'm underneath my ink layer I'm gonna add a new layer it's gonna be for my colors for my ink layers I'm going to lock it so I don't accidentally color it set it to reference and then I'm gonna bring up my new or my reference picture. Try to pull from these colors for a second here. Go back to my color layer. And let's see. This is just a whiteness for his for his face, but let's try that. 
That didn't work. What happened? Alright, well, I'll just pick it myself then. Pretty white. Let's do like a yellow base. Looks pretty good. And with this hair, we are going to go with a orangish reddish. Pretty bright for the hair. And for his buttons and his lips, we're going to go with like a really dark red. So we'll do the buttons first. And now, what I'm going to do is drop the opacity on this. Bring up my underdrawing one more time. I'm going to raise the opacity on that one so I can see these lines in here. And while I'm still on my color line or my color layer, I'm going to use the red color still. What I'm trying to do is get this coloring, uh, whatever this is, makeup, design of his face, markings on his face. So it looks like it's part of his face and it doesn't have a black outline for it. For his lips, we're going to go around those. And we're ready. And then we're gonna kinda kinda make it like a swooping motion type of thing here. It's good. Do the other side. Alrighty. Looks pretty good there. Let's see what it looks like with the opacity all the way up. Alright, yeah, I think I like that. And now I'll take off my underdrawing. And we'll color the rest of this guy, which is pretty plainly colored. Kind of just like a grayish off-white suit or something. Do this one, and just to change it up, I'm going to change this again. Just to do a different color of white on some of this stuff here. Do his hands that color, and we'll go back to this color here. That's gonna look pretty good. Go back to the lighter color so I can drop that in here, drop that in there, and let's see. Alright, I think we are just about done with the coloring here. Alright, nice. And last thing is, of course, we need the balloon. Balloon colored. There we go. Cover the little piece right here that's tied off. And it looks, I think I'm going to change his hair color just a little bit. A little bit brighter. Yeah, I like that. Pops it a little bit more off the page there. Looks good. All right, we'll get rid of this reference here. And now for the back, I know he has, you know, sharp teeth at certain points and claws and whatnot of uh, during the movie. So since I don't have that, I'm going to have a jagged look in the back. Let's do let's do a dark red. And what I'm gonna do is just straight up make these lines whoops actually I'm gonna do this on a new layer. Put this underneath my color layer and then I'm just gonna Hold that there. Take the reference off of my inks layer. 
go back to this one and drop drag and drop now we got this little actually I'm gonna change that I'm gonna do that on the bottom so that way the red balloon still pops out I'm gonna drop the opacity on this just a touch and for the other side I'm going to do a kind of like a soft yellow there we go perfect looks like I didn't finish coloring down here so I'll go back to my color layer and finish up coloring his pants costumes whatever this stuff is and his hand here all right and that is going to do it for today i don't think i'm going to do any shadows on this today i'm just going to leave it with just flat colors on there oh look his teeth are white or not white they should be they're probably dirty yellow or something but i'll just color them this color that matches face paint but yeah that's going to do it for today we have pennywise from stephen king's it very cool very very cool looking evil character from the movie and uh, yeah, that's going to do it for today. If you enjoyed this, if you liked it, please like and subscribe. Hit that bell for notifications so that way you can get notified the next time I have a new video going up. Um, and let me know in the comments down below how you enjoyed this video, if you have any suggestions for future videos. And I will see you in the next one.